Hello, I'm Dr. Melanie Peskard, Senior Research Fellow at the Menzies Centre for Health Governance at RegNet and the Australian Prevention Partnership Centre. It's been said that a systems approach is essential to understand and improve population health and health equity. This is because a systems approach enables us to see the bigger picture with clarity and take the best course of action, not only when it comes to chronic disease prevention, but in all aspects of life. For far too long, Western thought has been too focused on reductionist thinking and methods, so a shift to incorporating systems approaches is a step in the right direction, noting that one does not cancel out the other. A true systems approach incorporates multiple perspectives. We need the big picture thinkers and those who can operate within the details. The skill of a systems thinker lies in bringing together the work of all types of thinkers to work together as one to produce a holistic piece of work. When it comes to the complex problem of improving population health and health equity, a systems approach is a useful way of thinking and working. And we know this both theoretically and increasingly more so through empirical data from those incorporating systems approaches into their work. I want to pause here and note, however, that systems approaches and reductionist approaches need not be set up as a dichotomy, because in truth, we need both, as both serve complementary purposes. It's about practicing discernment as to when and how they should be used. So how can we take a systems approach? Well, there's many ways of answering the question, because if we think about the need to take a step back and observe from above what's going on, then a systems approach for addressing one problem might not be the same systems approach taken to address another. Some key components, however, for taking a systems approach to address complexity might include creating shared intent or a shared understanding to foster cooperative working relationships, engaging with multiple perspectives, and importantly, practicing respect for the various worldviews being shared by different stakeholders understanding the interrelationships between systems components, and finally, getting clear about the boundaries of the system in which you're working by discussing what should be in and out of the system of interest. When it comes to addressing the complex problem that is population health and health inequities in relation to the COVID-19 crisis, despite the challenges, the crisis can in fact act as a catalyst for change. And ultimately, the goal of taking a systems approach is to create change. But first, we must pause and reflect on the change we seek to make. We need to, as a collective, begin to alchemize the COVID-19 crisis into an opportunity, whereby governments, industry, not-for-profits and the community begin to work together to take collective action, however small or large to produce the emergent effect of a healthier population and a more equitable distribution of health across the population. Without a doubt, COVID-19 has shone quite the spotlight on population health and health inequities. We need to focus our attention on creating systems change. When we think about the systems which we seek to change, we need to see ourselves within the system, not external to it. If we are truly to address complexity, we must step into the web and play our role, then take responsibility for taking meaningful action. Now, more so than ever, we need to look at our roles, our strengths and our values and put our collective action and commitment towards taking responsibility for what we can do as individuals, as institutions and as countries, and in doing so, embrace complexity it's no longer good enough to simply point at others to fix the problems of society. And I would encourage anyone viewing this video to pause and reflect on the bigger picture, the change they seek to contribute through their work and their lives, and the actions they will commit to such that they may contribute to creating a healthier and more equitable world.